Today, I'm going to teach you how to make, customize and add a light meter to your live streams. Let's go! Welcome to my YouTube series, where I teach you how to make cool stuff for your channel. My first YouTube tutorial got a lot of positive feedback. Thank you for your support. If you haven't checked that one out, the link is in the description. If you are a subscriber, then you probably saw that I added a light meter to my streams. Like this one. And I place it on the top of my streams. And if you are new here and you feel like I earned your follow after this video, please hit that subscribe button. A light meter is a fun way to interact with your viewers during a live stream. Disclaimer, I'm not an affiliate or is this video sponsored by Botrix, but feel free to contact me. Botrix is a content creator tool. It's easy, fun and free. This is also the reason why I chose Botrix. Step 1. Make an account. After logging in, go to widgets, then find go likes and press it. Step 2. Change the design to normal and enter an amount for your go likes. You can alter the text or leave it empty if you don't want to display any message. For this tutorial, let's keep likes. After that, we are gonna copy the widget URL on the top of the screen. You will get a toaster message with a confirmation. Step 3. We are gonna add it to our preferred streaming tool. I use OBS, so in my sources panel, I'm gonna add a new browser. And give it a cool name. Paste the URL we copied from Botrix in the URL input. Now change the width to 960 and height to 120 pixels. If you press OK and this is the result, you successfully added Botrix. In step 4, we are gonna add some CSS that I handwritten in this area. I created the page where you can find the custom code. The link is in the description. Select all the CSS code. Press right click on your mouse and copy it. In our settings panel, we are gonna select all the existing CSS code and remove it. Now you can paste the code we copied in this area. When you press OK, this should be the result. Let's take a deep dive in the code. Before you go live, make sure you delete this part of the code. The first import is the light meter. The second one is the font. Here you can change the font styles. In this area you can position your text. With these settings you can hide or show the text. Here you can alter the actual likes image. And with this one the background image. Let me walk you through with an example. Let's change the background image first. Scroll down to the background section. Here you can change the URL or use base64 like I did. Select your local image. Mine has a width of 960 and a height of 80 pixels. Before we encode the image, make sure this setting is set to data URI. Encode the image and copy it. Now we are gonna select the data URI code and paste our new one. Let's change the width to 960 and the height to 80 pixels. And now we are gonna repeat the same for the actual like image. I created the car with 43 pixels width and 26 pixels in height. Let's encode this image, copy it and paste it in our actual image URL. And let's not forget to change the width and the height. Let's make some adaptations. Let's hide the title. Let's bring some adjustments to the position of the like image. 
we are gonna delete the four pixels from bottom and we are gonna change the position to right and center. Now we are gonna add some animation wobble. We are gonna keep the animation on drive but adjust the width of our image. This was 960 pixels. Copy the code and paste it. After that, this should be the result. Let's change the position of the text. Let's put 20 pixels from the top. And we're done. I can't wait to see what you guys will create. I also put some examples for other creators. For my friend Pixel Racer, I created this little Volvo animation with IKEA background. The car itself is animated and exported as a GIF. This way you have endless possibilities. And for Dutchy GT I created this delivery van in the same style with a moving background. For not that quick I animated this sausage to the grill animation with still images. For my friend Cranky Cake we are gonna reveal some cake toppings. If you want to share your creations with me or the community, feel free to join my Discord. Thank you for watching and if you feel like this video brought you some value, please hit that sub and like button. Thank you.